Well, Crystal is here just one week after surgery, along with her surgeon, Dr. Castro Body. Welcome to you both. How about Crystal? Thank you. Right. So you're one week out, so pretty fresh. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited. Um, words can't even express how I'm feeling. I'm just so thankful for this making the surgery possible. And, and we saw some of it in the tapies, but this is a, a pretty cool way to help someone who has essentially extremely shortened bone, right? Right, correct. When you have a short toe, the weight distribution is off. So she's putting more pressure on, let's say, on her third toe and her fifth toe because the fourth toe is not as long, so it's not carrying the weight. And as you saw on the picture, her fourth toe was sticking up in the air, so when she wears shoes, that becomes very painful, correct? Yeah. And you can structurally see not only her actual foot, but we have x-rays uh, before of your feet. and. You can see how shortened that fourth toe is. Yeah, correct. Uh, so when we're looking here, uh, we need to see the parabola, which is this arc. Uh, the fourth toe, as you can see, it's shorter. It should be up here, but it's back here. Essentially, the growth of the toe is uh, normal. So this part is normal. But the part, the, the metatarsal part, as you can see, it's uh, a lot shorter. And how does this device then elongate her bone? Okay, so uh, this device is called the mini rail fixator. So what this is, it's essentially separating the bone. Uh, what we do is I put four pins into the bone, and then um, I make an uh, osteotomy, which is a cut in the bone. Uh, we're basically telling the body that we, this is a fracture. We made a fracture in the bone, and the body's trying to heal this area. And before it heals it, we start separating it. So we're kind of mimicking, uh, we're kind of tricking the body, saying, okay, we need more bone growth. And every day, Crystal is turning this device at home. Uh, we found out that half a millimeter a day is a good rate. Can you show us how you, every day, do that half yeah. millimeter? And this is something a patient can do at home. Yeah. But you yeah. just teach them how far to go. Exactly. So she, she puts that uh, wrench in there. And then I just twist it. That's it? Yeah. And that's literally internally pulling those bones a little further apart. Correct. But you don't feel that. I don't feel it at all. If you went further, you would. Yeah, And exactly. that's where the key here is, that, that sweet yeah. spot, right? And we can't go too fast. If you go too fast, your body is not growing enough bone. So you have a space in there, but the bone is not growing. So get like a non-union. Exactly. It won't, it won't so up. you have to go a half a millimeter a day. Be the, patient. I know. Exactly. She's been a trooper. I mean... Patients that have this condition, um, they've been suffering for a long time. My first consultation with them, I always tell them that they have to be involved because this thing, as you can see, my surgery was two hours. She's going to live with this for the next two months. She's going to take care of this, clean it. She's going to do all the adjustments. So she is as important as the surgery. We have some pictures of a previous patient of mine that I, I would like to show to see the before wow. and after. So as you can see... I mean, that's what Crystal is looking forward to. I mean, that's what your foot is going to look like. I mean, uh, the trade-off is a couple of uh, small uh, scar, and this picture was taken like two weeks after I took the device off, so these scars will actually heal up much better, and you won't see it. So it's, it's a, it's a uh, big change, I would big say. Big change. Very cool. Well, thank you both so much for being with us today.